Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your Oracle reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. All right, so Virgo, looks like you may be suffering some grief, some mood swings, some tears, just being upset. It's, this is gonna pass. Um, you're just disappointed. Uh, or somebody's disappointed about you or, or surrounding you, Virgo, because you are committed. Virgo this, could, Virgo, this could be you. This could be someone else. Somebody's committed to their job, their position, their duty. So they're not, it's not much room to be committed in a relationship or to a specific person. Some, this is like the playboy, the love them and leave them, you know, um, it's not serious, not love relationships, work and formal matters are, but this person is committed to their own duties, but someone's still having hope, faith that a situation will turn around, it will change. That maybe they'll get that wedding or that commitment, that bond that they're seeking. Make sure it doesn't lead you to a place of despair, though. Uh, again, unfavorable mood swings and flying off the handle and being unable to cope with the change in a situation. OK. Because someone is not faithful or someone is not telling not as is not honest because um, we have so what I lied, I'm a narcissist and we have faithfulness with that. So if someone's not honest, we don't want that to take you to a place of just breaking down. And right now, some, some of you could be suffering from, you know, heartbreak. You could be saying to someone, they broke your heart or vice versa. They're saying it to you. You could be saying to someone that, look, you're so immature. And they, and they could be saying, look, I would choose you. Um, they think that you're beautiful and they want you to have their baby. They want some tie, some forever bond to you. Not exactly sure if it's the bond that you want, but they do want a bond to you. You need to take this opportunity to get out, capitalize on some social skills. I know in the northern, in the northern hemisphere, uh spring is here get out engage as much as possible we're coming on on the tail end of you know COVID-19 so do what you can but this talks about getting out there the need to have more fun because somebody is soaking here especially with size someone is looking over looking at the past and just really soaking here just really you know, in a very depressed down state of being in their emotions, thinking about what could have been, what, you know, what is also not looking at the fact that they played a part in that too. The cards want you to engage in, in a meditative and contemplative state. It's saying that right now you're very romantic, super romantic, but not realistic. That um, you need to really process your emotions alongside being logical. Because nothing will come of this situation right now. This, do keep in mind, we always can manipulate the energy and do a whole bunch of stuff and make things happen. You can make... Don't go to a reader. A reader says, okay, you're not going to see your boyfriend again or whatever. That's the energy at that very point, at that very time. Now, you may leave that reader and you say, what? I'm not going to see my boyfriend again. No, no, no. That's not happening. I'm going to call him. I'm going to show up at his house. I'm going to stalk him. Okay, so now you just manipulated the energy and you got what you wanted. You wanted to see him again. So do know that right now the cards are saying nothing will come of this situation, but it is a right now, you know, type. It could be a, a right now type of energy for you. Um, I 
it doesn't have to be that uh, this is a, an absolute. It's final. But they do want you to step out of your comfort zone um, into your north node. You need to learn what your north node is. This is who and what you need to be aspiring to be. Come out of your comfort zone of maybe sulking, being upset, being depressed. Um, hanging in there is what I heard. You might come out of your comfort zone and get out there and experience life and whatever happens, happens. They want you to know that uh, a tough, the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. It looks like you're going to see something for what it is, for what it has to offer you. If that it, but you need to get more information here. And meditation is coming up again because it's just not the right time. And within the next few months, maybe you'll have the opportunity to reconsider this. But you might say no to it altogether. Or there might be a no answer within the next few weeks. But it's up to you. But the cards are saying you might want to choose a different direction. Because you're going to have to compromise what you want or what you're striving for if you stay in a comfortable place. And it's unlikely that you'll get what you want. But the situation will improve. Because maybe you'll be conceding to another person just to have success. If you believe you can have what you want, okay? Once again, this is all what you can change the energy. But you're going to have to wait for perfect timing, okay? Divine timing, all right? And uh, we have another no answer. Um, and clarify this no answer. Clarify this is the star card. So... No, that's not going to be. This talks about renewal, reconciliation, coming back together, healing, getting on the right path. Maybe right now it's just not going to happen for you. You might need to do a personal healing by yourself um, because there's bad blood between you and somebody else. There's also a reversal, like things just keep going backwards. Uh, and there's interjection. People, places, things keep interjecting into the connection to where it can't move forward. Um, that is, it could be borderline toxic or there's somebody who is moving in self-centeredness and they could be a little aggressive in terms of what they want and they're not willing to compromise. OK, so, um, yes, yeah, someone's after their own adventure, their own agenda. They don't want any strings attached here. Uh, they would like for it, you or maybe another energy to, to stay in a passive state of being uh, so that it keeps them happy. Or you're staying in a passive state of existing because it keeps maybe the family together or, or set, you know, it portrays to the world that you guys are happy. The stage is set for happiness. It doesn't mean that you'll have absolute happiness yes yeah, some some masculine energy could be doing this they could just be you know parading around that they uh, are happy but they really want to go in a new direction start something new all right so if it resonates with you go over to the website book your own reading there like share comment subscribe also you can text a question to the number below pay for your question receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device Thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you.